Hi there, I'm Tyler from Nelly Security, and in today's video, we're going to install our Uniview motorized lens security cameras. Now, all you need to install your camera is your drill template, your mounting hardware, and potentially your weatherproof grommet. For the dome and the bullet, you'll also need your included hex wrench. Some additional tools you may need include a drill, a Phillips head screwdriver, and if you have the turret, a flat head screwdriver. The first step will be to place the drill template and drill your holes. For the bullet camera, you may want to loosen the hex screws first so that this bullet will freely swivel, giving you plenty of room to get in there with your screwdriver. All you'll have to do is connect your cables, stick it up there, and screw it into place. For your turret, you'll need to completely disassemble this to reveal the mounting holes. Now, remember, we do have edge storage on these cameras, so before I put this turret back together, I'm going to stick a micro SD card in there. We will format this card and get it ready for recording in a future video. If you're going to be running the cable through a hole in the ceiling, you can go ahead and screw this plate into place. But if you're going to be routing the cable out the side, be sure to hold it up there as you secure this. For the motorized Vandal Dome, simply remove the glass dome using the included hex wrench and screw the camera body into place. Now let's talk briefly about cables. We need to connect each of these cameras to power and since they're IP cameras, we also need to connect them to our network. We can accomplish both of these tasks with two separate cords using a 12 volt DC connector for power and an ethernet cable to a router switch for network connectivity. However, the easiest way to do this is using power over ethernet. Using one ethernet cable connected to a PoE switch, you can both power your cameras and connect them to the network. For this, you can use any PoE switch, even something as simple as this single channel injector. Now, whether you connected your cameras to a standard router or a PoE switch, you're going to set them up the same way. Go ahead and hop onto your computer and open up the Easy Tools program. Locate the IP address of your camera and type that IP address into your web browser, preferably Internet Explorer. Enter your default credentials, which is admin for the user and 123456 for the password. You may need to download the plugin at this point and restart your browser, but once you've logged in successfully and everything's good to go, you'll see your camera's live view. But there's an even faster way than this to set up your cameras. Behind me, I have this Uniview NVR set up, and as you can see, there is a PoE switch on the back. Now watch what happens when I plug this motorized bullet into the back of the NVR. As you can tell from the IR emitters, this camera is now powered up. And all we have to do is wait for it to boot all the way up and it should appear on the screen behind us. And there we go. Just like that, we have instant plug and play video. Next, we're going to set these cameras up on our mobile device. Now, this can be done from your computer or from your NVR. Simply navigate to the Easy Cloud menu under your network settings. Make sure Easy Cloud is enabled for your camera. Now on your phone, download the Easy View application. Add a new device, scan the QR code, and you're good to go. Now you can view your camera's feeds from anywhere in the world. But for now, we're going to go back out to our parking lot and use this live view to fine tune our adjustments. Once we have everything looking the way we want it to look, we will tighten everything down, put everything back together, and make sure it's all nice and secure. And that's how you set up and install your Uniview motorized lens security cameras. In the next few videos, we're going to dig into the web interface, take a look at the NVR interface, have a quick overview of some of these cameras' features, and really get to know these cameras inside and out. In the meantime, you can learn more about these cameras and check out these products for yourself by visiting our blog post. I'll link that down in the description below. But be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click that bell icon so you don't miss the next video. 
Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.